Alright guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations. Now, last time we left off with a, in a precarious situation where we were about to fight a boss, but then the episode started running a little bit late, then I found uh, these, uh, the L-Hog Magnum, and I needed to customize, so I figured, you know what, let me just do this on my own time and skip you the uh, tactical min-maxing that was going to go on in my head, which, by the way, isn't really min-maxing because I am probably did a terrible lay uh, loadout, but hey, you know what, uh, well, I tried at least. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, there's going to be uh, different ways to go about this and probably a lot more efficient ways than mine. What I went ahead with, though, was a Magnum give it the damage plus 40 because it upped its power, firepower quite a bit, substantially. And that's what the Hawk is supposed to do, just fucking a hardcore power. And I had kind of like a throwaway type of thing to do it because everything else that I was available, I needed it for other loadouts that I kind of, you know, fixed in my head. So, I just give it the firing rate 15%. No big deal, something else should go there, but hey, what can you do? Uh, regular handgun, I went the two-shot burst because it's exclusive to the handguns. The dazing, the damage, and the firing rate, obviously shoot faster, daze enemies. Obviously, this isn't meant to take anything down, it's just meant to kind of like give me a little bit of a way to run around or something, so that's that. Shotgun, let's go with the shotgun. Scatter, because it's exclusive to it, let's use it. Uh, reload speed, load capacity, and damage. Uh, I feel that reloading is kind of like one of the issues that gets me fucked at times, so this will probably help out. And other than that, I also uh, went ahead and uh, customized this guy over here with the dazing, the stop power and low capacity. Obviously, this guy isn't about firepower at all. It's just about kind of like a faster version of the handgun. Uh, just a little bit less reliant on the handgun, just because the handgun at least kind of has a lot more ammo readily available to it. So, with that, let's go ahead and switch over to the shotgun, just to, uh, for at least a safe uh, kind of peace of mind for me. And while I'm at it, let me... Perfect. Alright, cool. So, we're supposed to be looking for passcodes, right? So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Is that going to be here? I cracked the code on the door. Careful in there. Will do. You can count on it. Okay. All right. So, it's going to be good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be entitled of, but it's in game saving now. All right. A clusterfuck of amazing, and that's great. Shotgun shells, don't mind if I do, and handgun ammo, I'm actually quite loaded up on. Alright, so. Oh, okay, there's definitely a man over there dead, more than likely. And there's an item there for sure with him. Now, okay. Figure anybody else would have known that by now except me. So, obviously, the old Sega Genesis lets us view uh, where these uh, goddamn. I guess, I guess, uh, what we call these, like, motion sensors or heat lasers are. But it's, I'm still blocked off from this guy altogether. So, oh, oh, wait a minute, here we go. I should just be able to unlock it from here, right? Now, this scene is really... Okay, oh, shit. Alright, maybe I should've, uh... <laughs> what, what is this? What kind of bullshit is this? I, I still can't get to it. All right, game. We never sort of trickery, are we? That's fine. It's fine as well. So, what does this even accomplish? Okay, it accomplished being able to get to the other side. All right, that's fine. So that means now that I have to take a different route back. So let's go through here and down through this way. And now I'll be able to jump down here. So initially, this wasn't open to me. I didn't know that because I didn't really. Oh God! I told you to oh be shit! Who knows what kind of BOWs we're up against? Oh God damn it! And here comes the fucking Knights of Zentar again. All right. Wait a minute. One second. Let me scan you real quick. Now, let's go on ahead and assume that I'm gonna die. Now let's go on ahead and assume that my handgun is supposed to do what it's- Boy, fuck you. I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to fight you. You'll probably be stuck down here anyway once I get up here. And what are you doing here? Just sh trying to shoot me menacingly? Okay. Okay, well you on the other hand I probably do have to deal with. Why can't you be like your friend? He's docile. He's just hanging out down there. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Let me go ahead and scan you as well. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. They can indeed get up here. All 
Okay, yeah, they just jump up here. That makes sense. Okay. You know what's bullshit? I was... You can't trip me. I wasn't in animation zone. Oh! There must be what? Oh, God. You're not even gonna let me... Hey, there's a... Okay, one second. One second here, guys. Alright, just fucking get relaxed for one moment. What the hell is that? Alright. Alright, we're gonna play this fucking game, right? I can play this game. I can play this asshole game. Okay, reload, reload. I'm really digging that reload timer, by the way. Okay, not digging that, though. Go and hang out over there. Yeah, go check it out. Go check it out. Yeah, both of you go check it out. There we go. Oh, come on! He was charging the other way! Yeah, get up here real quick. Yeah, yeah, you're running. Who's running away now? Huh? <laughs> Not me. I ain't scared of no ghost. Aha, and I even dodged you. I even actually, I went out of my way to actually try to dodge that, and it worked, so. Fuck, I'm actually quiet. I was gonna say, I'm actually, yeah, yeah. Are you dead now? Perfect. Did I have to even kill you guys? Probably, oh god, I don't think I had to even kill him, did I? Uh, had I paid attention to my surroundings, I would have probably realized I could just scan that there and uh, gone in and out without even dealing with those guys. So whatever, what's? Oh shit! Okay. Let's go ahead and get this. Oh, magnum ammo. I'm still filled up on that. All right, that's fine. You know what? I no, not don't do that just yet. I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Let's go ahead and pillage this area first. I I'm kind of. Uh, Glad I didn't use any Magnum ammo, but I... God, I really wasted a little bit more shotgun ammunition than I really would have liked. Oh, boy. Alright. That's fine, though. Let's just not even worry about that. Let's uh, look on the bright side that uh, we got past those fuckers and spend a lot of health as well. Inoculations. Alright. So let's go ahead and activate this. This will probably now give us access to this dick. Yeah. So now we could go in front. So let me try to remember that now. Uh, go through the front side, not through the back. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I remember once I tried to go through the back without a uh, warning, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, that was the end of my night. Okay. You know what, angry Leviathan man? You need to relax. All right, there's no really point of, you know, slamming into that window. It's not going to, you know, cost anything. We'll probably flood the room or something if you do break it, which, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, if that's the case, then actually kudos to you because you're actually going about, uh, going out of the realm of, you know, you're thinking outside of the box, basically, in terms of way to kill me. So you can't get your hands on me, or I guess you don't really have hands, but your, I guess, jaw or maw on me, then you'll probably try to drown me out. That's fine. And this right here kind of, like, really reminiscent of, like, Resident Evil, of old, like, you know, when they were still zombies and not, like, you know, fucking terrifying weapons. Infection log for Queen Zenobia, Ryan, ID, yada, oh my lord, 13 of these? 2004, after the final note was played in the tragedy known as the Terraninga Panic, we seized the ship and began to carry out the missions quickly and secretly. Yeah, I'm gonna read all this, guys, alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this slowly and you can pause if you want to read it. So now we got the prototype Chris, of this scene. You're not going to believe what I just learned. Morgan Lansdale of the NBC was behind the attacks on Terra Grigia. So that's what Raymond was talking about. Seems like it. All I have is circumstantial evidence. Nothing to nail him for it yet. All right. 
So, uh, since we got the vaccine, I assume we have to come back here and, yep, prototype vaccine inserted. <laughs> oh, I'm so immature. You know, Jill is quite the, uh, I guess, <laughs> quite the heroic, uh, I guess, uh, <laughs> sense of, uh, identification. Just, uh, I, I, I don't know, I wouldn't be too, uh, I guess open by just fucking injecting myself with a random, like, uh, vaccine I found somewhere around. I mean, I'm aware that there was, uh, you know, documentation next to it and whatnot that explained what it probably was. But still, I, I, I mean, it seems like really trusting overall, like, fuck me, what if, like, somebody just planted that there? Then again, I'm just overly paranoid by nature, so, I mean, <laughs> probably has something to do with it, but, uh, uh I don't know, it just, uh, something just, you know, if I found, like, a, oh, god fucking damn it. What are, oh, no, you gotta be shitting me, right? Oh, fuck, alright, well, I'm just gonna die to these lasers if you don't mind me. Okay, well... Apparently, what we have to do now is go back and once again, I was just there inserting the goddamn vaccine into my fucking bloodstream. So let's just go back into one more time and uh, turn off the lasers. And after that, we could turn off the other switch and I'm getting no response. Okay, well, what does this mean for me then? How do I get back? All right. Apparently there's something I'm missing around here. What am I missing? What am I not looking? What what is so blatantly obvious that is, you know, not even apparent to me? Because I know that's what's the, that's the deal here. It's something so blatantly obvious that I'm just not seeing, and it's probably in the old room, isn't it? <laughs> uh, maybe this now. Okay, you know what? I'm just uh, just kind of explore my surroundings and like really. Okay, let's let's go back then. All right. It's probably back there, I just missed it somehow, uh... Go down the thing. Let's see what we have here. Caution, alright, yeah. I'm being very- I'm being overly cautious, prop. See, I can't go in through there. No, see, I- there's no fucking way I can go back there. Right? Am I- is it just me? Am I- am I tripping the fuck out here? I can't get back there. I, I can't. Okay, no, no, that's that's a laser. Don't walk into that one. No, we read this already, and we got the item. Uh, and I can't access this because there's a laser there. All right, game. What is what is your game now, game? What are what are we what are you fucking me out of here? I definitely don't have access to that, alright? There's lasers there, there, here, here, and here. So that this whole area is blocked off to me. So what does this entail? What am I supposed to do? Do I just shoot one of these windows out? I don't think the game's this interactive. Or I suppose it is interactive, but you know, the uh, items around are like, you know, I guess my environment isn't so interactive. Uh, what am I missing? God damn it, I wish someday that wasn't such a Neanderthal night. Alright. Resort to this real quick. Where's my destination? Where's my final destination? And I don't have one. Alright, well, that's perfectly fine. Is there a door I'm just missing here? Nothing there. Here. Alright, game. Alright, what's your game right now? What in the world are you... Oh, god damn it. All right. Downloading data. Please wait. Well, at least you guys could, uh, you know, for anybody, you know, doing this for the first time or ever attempted, now you know what not to do. Okay, whatever's going on out there sounds really angry now. Download complete. Which isn't there. Okay, what is this? All right, we got the authentication code. I have absolutely no help. And I feel this happens a little bit too often to uh, Joe. And by the way, Jill. Jill, come in. Do you I wonder. Oh, the Answer custom parts. Me, Where's the custom this parts is an at? Emergency. Get back here now. 
Oh, you have an emergency, Chris. I'm not sure if you've realized the emergency I'm in at the moment. It's called a uh, fucking drowning, Chris. Have you heard that emergency? And where are the custom parts? Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, you fucking game. Are you really gonna keep doing this to me? Can I... Okay, well, there, there you go, I died. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, what the fuck was that? I can't even use the, the Sega console underwater, apparently. And, oh, God damn. Uh, I feel kind of bad about this. Uh, this uh, low health thing is kind of really kind of fucking with the back of my head here. Because I know something's about to happen, something really big, which I probably would like to have a lot of health to, like, you know, keep my chances of survival up. Alright. So we're gonna get the passcode here. Maybe Downloading after I get data. the passcode I could uh, activate wait. that switch again, perhaps? So let me get the activation code. Hurry up. Hurry game. Download complete. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna go gotta acquire this real quick here and make sure there's nothing else I have to do here. No, okay. Prototype inserted. Okay, if you wanna shoot up again, go ahead. That's perfectly fine as well. Alright. And uh, Jill's quite lucky that goddamn door didn't just like crush her really. Jill, I mean. Jill come in. Do you read me? Answer me, damn it. This is an emergency. Get now. Out here now. Now let's slowly think about this. I do have a a marker. Oh, okay. Fuck me, I'm a genius. <laughs> oh god damn it. It's been damaged by the flood. Okay, well, I guess we can just go out through here, then. I should really be thinking about, uh... Oh, those custom parts. Is it worth my life? It is. It really is, actually. I wish I knew I could... I wish I could see. You okay? Yeah. For now. Th what was your emergency, Chris? <gasps> of course, you had none. Alrighty, the custom parts, if I do remember correctly, should be roughly around here. Because this is where those uh, windows decided to shut off on me, right? Yep, there we go. Perfect. Alright. Normally, I wouldn't go out of my way to get something like that. Unfortunately, I do feel that uh, any sort of advantage I could get will really uh, benefit me in the long run. So no, don't don't dive underwater again, Jill. Jill, go back up. Up here, perfect. Jill, I got the passcode. Good work. Now let's neutralize that virus. I got. Uh, sorry about that. I just want to, you know, min max a little bit. So we got the passcodes. Use the passcode. And shit should definitely confirmed. happen now. Initiating virus neutralization program. Well done, BSAA. Your activities have been eye opening. Morgan Lansdale. I knew O'Brien is so great when we're sniffing around my business. I didn't account for your involvement, however. That was my only mistake. So it was you. You attacked Terra Grigia. Jill, look out. It looks like my mistakes are about to be made. You are so ways for the Queen Zenobia. I hope you don't mind watching. Make the area safe. Alright, so it looks like this is gonna be kind of like a the same situation that it was with uh, Quint and uh, Keith, was it? Thankfully for us, uh, 
Chris should be able to take care of himself quite well there, so hey, uh, good luck with that, Chris. If you don't mind me, I'm just gonna hang out up here. I've been too much of a... I've been too much of a... dealing with a, the, the roll as bait, so... No, Chris, you go downstairs. I stay up here. That's fine, Chris. So you could hang out there, I guess. Uh, you don't do much for me. From Will you at least shoot him? Try to act like you're helping me, Chris. I tell you, I'm not too crazy about the uh, a companionship AI in this game, that's for sure. Overall, I've been quite pleased with the game so far, except when this man tries to put his penis on my neck again, when I've told him countless times before to don't do that, I don't roll that particular way. So let's be sure to scan these guys before we get the chance as well. Just because... Overall, we're not doing that great when it comes to health. Can I shoot you? I definitely can. Alright. This will work for me. Not sure if it works for you guys, but it works for me and that's fine. I don't mind taking the uh, scumbag way out. Okay, angry, angry knight is back. So, you know what? I'm going to unload on you with just the shit weapons that I have. Just because... The less good ammo I preserve, the better for what I feel at some point going to have a boss fight of some caliber that's going to require all the set of skills that I've pretty much uh, racked up so far. And Alright. Let's take out this guy here. Take you out, I said. Don't try to sneak up behind me. And another one of those knights is over there, and... Are you dead now? You're not dead. You're not dead, you're just playing the role of being dead. Alright, so let's go up here now and... Turn around. Okay, and there's two of them now. So, I will indeed... Just go ahead and just unload the rest of my handgun ammo. And oh, really? You're gonna be a fucking asshole from all the way over there? Alright. Should have probably paid attention to this monster next to me instead of this guy from all the way over there. What is this, Counter Strike? What are you, a dick asshole sniper from like far just sniping people? I suppose I <laughs> being a little bit random. Are you being a dick asshole sniping people, you sniper? Is that what you do, snipers? Okay, one second. Let's turn around here real quick. And. Go back up here. I don't want to use the Magnum just yet. And oh shit, I forgot. Oh, actually, I do have Magnum ammo here. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's uh, live a little bit dangerously and do that. Oh, perfect. Oh god, I kind of really fucking love this gun. <laughs> no. Make it work. Make it work, dude. Virus neutralization complete. Ah, uh, I should have expected as much from the duo who brought down Umbrella. However, your days of playing cops and robbers are over. What is that supposed to mean, Marco? I do hope Polo. you understand the gravity of my making a personal appearance. I have a great weakness. I am fearful of things. Even little things, and must clean up every last imperfection. The BSAA, my dear Director O'Brien, your whole organization, you cause nothing but trouble. Surely you didn't expect me to just let you snoop around unbridled. Don't kid yourselves. Have a look. Your destiny is in my hands. What the... Queen Zenobia. Previously on Lost. All right, so um, again, uh, that that little chime off ending it always sounds like a fucking Lost reference, and I know I make enough Lost references throughout this series. It seems. 
third, fourth time I've mentioned it now. All right, either way, though, guys, uh, that's going to wrap up that. I I guess there was no boss battle after all, just a bunch of enemies. The boss battle seemed to be a bit lacking, really. Uh, then again, should I really be expecting many boss battles? It is a Resident Evil game. I mean, there really aren't that many, at least in the old school games, there weren't that many quote-unquote bosses, so to say. Regardless, though, um... Not that bad. I uh, died once, unfortunately, just because I wasn't paying attention. And, you know, <laughs> most of my deaths are because I'm not paying attention. Most of my poor gameplay probably is because I don't pay attention. Either way, though, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here and pick it up from right here next time. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and whatnot. It'll at least help me at least improve better and further on my content and see what you guys like, what you don't like, and whatnot. It's a way for me to, you know, just growth in this whole hobby altogether. Uh, either way, guys, appreciate your time, and I'll see you guys next time.